Hello everyone, Shaman Singh here and today I'm showing you how to install MRTG. I had a request to do a video on installing MRTG which is another monitoring software uh, like Cacti, like Smoke Ping that will monitor devices. MRTG uh, will monitor using SNMP uh, and not just Ping like Smoke Ping um, but doesn't have the rich features out of the box that is uh, like Cacti. Um, so let's begin so the first thing we'll have to do is update our repository packages so app get update okay uh just um right now just to let you know i am logged in as root this is a fresh install of debian so uh make sure that all the commands that i'm showing you right now will be run in sudo um if you're on ubuntu or if you're on a different user um so i just want to point that out <coughs> Okay, so now that we've uh, gone ahead and updated our packages, the first thing we want to do is install Apache. <laughs> okay, so now that uh, Apache is uh, installed, we'll install MRTG and SNMP. And I also install the SNMP daemon as well. So uh, since we're here, we can make sure that we have it. So if we want to monitor local host. Okay, so um, we will say that uh, the MRTG is owned and readable only by root. I say yes to this. Okay, so now we've installed MRTG. Okay, so the MRTG configuration files are located at etc slash MRTG. So MRTG.CFG. Okay, so right now uh, you'll see that there's not much um, in here right now. So we got to do what we got to do is actually configure to make a configuration. And uh, you do that with a line of code here. So but before we do that, you want to make a directory in your uh, www folder. So mkdir slash var slash www slash mrtg. And that's a folder um, that we made for MRTG. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll be running these two lines of code here. So the first one is config maker um, using the public. So the syntax is config maker. Um, then this is the SNMP community. This is the IP that we want to monitor. Slash, and then we're pointing all the SNMP traps to slash etc slash mrtg dot cfg now <coughs> um the first thing uh i'll do before testing with that command is um you want to do an snmp walk that way we know for sure that this device is responding so as you can see the, um, this is a switch that I'm monitoring, so there are, there's a lot of uh, MIBs. Okay, so we'll just cancel that for now. Okay, so we know that that the device responds, so we generate a config. Okay, so we've gone ahead and generated the configuration. Okay, now this is where. I saw some things get tricky. So, um, in the installation guide for uh, MRTG, it says pretty much to run this command. So, when you run that command, um, sometimes I've noticed that um, you get an error saying that it wasn't able to find the data. Um, so, what you actually have to do. Uh, if you, it'll say that it cannot match, it cannot match the the configuration uh, data. So sometimes what you had to do 
is go to um, the ETC and go to MRTG.CFG and for some reason or another um, these uh, uh, some of the lines were commented out um, and so you just have to remove the contact but it doesn't seem to to have happened this time, so that's good. But um, for example, I'll show you what to look for. Uh, I saw where, for instance, the target and set environment. There was all comments all along this section, so I just uncommented it out. Okay, maybe it was a one-off thing when I labbed this up uh, before the um, the video, but um, yeah, that definitely did happen. <coughs> Okay, so now um, now this is done, and you, as you can see, it's already populated all the interface names and everything like that. So we, there's nothing left to do here now. Um, by default, if you go to your cron tab, okay, uh, you'll see that you can add a uh, cron tab job for it to do uh, polling every five minutes okay so you'll just add the cron tab related field in here okay, so the next thing to do is go ahead and um, is to go ahead and check check this out in the web browser okay so the IP here is 1.149 so we'll just surf over to 192.168.1.149 and then it's going to be slash MRTG okay. and you can see already it's already populated um, the the graph that I have so this is Mancini switch on Mancini.com so you just click here on one of the one of the links okay and right now nothing's generated yet so we're not gonna see we're not gonna see anything so you gotta wait at least five minutes for the background to collect the data this is like all the other all the other ones where the graph hasn't populated as as expected okay. so I hope that this uh, video was uh, helpful to someone if uh, you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below and uh, you can also visit my website, www.shamancini.com. Thanks for watching.